We had such a good time yesterday. Hey, how do y'all like my shirt? Don't should yourself. And on the back it says, or anyone else. <laughs> it's in my spring store. Um, because I've been doing a lot of shoulds to myself today. And so I'm like, I got to get that shirt out and wear it. Because we're tired after our presentation. And then we went and celebrated with friends last night. And for us, we stayed out late. We were at the campfire till at least, what, 10? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and uh, and but it was, it was great fun, a great week all the way around. But we just thought we'd talk a little bit about it. We are both going to have our presentation up on our channels. Howa has said they may put it up on their channel as well, but you can count on finding it on our channel, and we'll talk about more, both of our channels, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. But first, we thought we'd talk to you about the presentation itself and our preparation for it and how it went and our perspective. And um, at the end of this video, we're going to share with you some pictures and scenes from yesterday. I know I had 20 note cards for my part. How many did you have, Jana? Uh, I think it was 30. Yeah, 30. And I got to thinking about it today, you guys, and we did at least nine run-throughs for that presentation because I did the outline, then we talked about the outline and split up the parts. Sammy's like, Mommy, you're not talking. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, and we split up the parts, and then we practiced that outline twice, then we made note cards, then we practiced from note cards twice, and then we did a final run-through. So eight, eight times. Oh, and then individually we looked at our note cards uh, yes. uh, by ourselves uh, to go over them before we went on stage. So nine times well, we did that. And we also timed us on the last three. Yes. So, and then we had to go back and reevaluate. <laughs> yeah. Mark out stuff because we ended up, I think that first run was close to 50 minutes. So it was like, oh, it's yeah. not, doesn't allow any time for questions. So. Then we had to start scratching, and then we timed ourselves again, and then we scratched some more. <laughs> so. Timed ourselves again, because <laughs> Bobby had told us make it 30 to 40 minutes and allow a 10 to 20 minutes for questions and answers, and and so we did that, and I think it went really well yesterday. If you were there yesterday, in the comments below, uh, let us know what you thought, but, but we had a blast doing the presentation. So we... Obviously, with nine run-throughs, we worked pretty hard on it. We had handouts uh, that we created, and uh, I think everybody enjoyed that. I should grab one of so, those handouts. So you <laughs> oh, had, we don't have any left. I know. Mind. I think we only had two or three, they yeah. said, but I haven't seen them yet. Um, but how many did we uh, print? 300. 300. So... We don't have any left, so we're assuming 250, 300 people were there. I yeah, don't know. We, we don't know. If anybody knows how many people might have been, and we're talking about our uh, RTR presentation <laughs> on how to find free camping or boondocking. And it or was yesterday, camping. or dispersed camping, or try docking. It was a, a, a humorous <laughs> part of our presentation. But, um, if you know how many people were there yesterday, January 18th at uh, 2 o'clock for our presentation, we'd love to know uh, accurate numbers. But, yeah, I, I think it was anywhere from two to 500. I am just no judge with uh, with uh, how, how many people might have been there. Well, but, and they are spread out. It was yeah. held at the baseball field, so it was spread out all on the grass. So yeah. there's no way of knowing how many people. I wish y'all could have seen if you were there, I wish you could have seen what we saw. Just this beautiful sea of beautiful people yes. and everybody having a good time. And it was sunshiny for the first time in a long time. And uh, it was just a beautiful day. And uh, uh, so we got there. So we had a week <laughs> week or more present uh, preparation. We printed this flyer. We made a da mad dash and did that live stream on my channel of us running to Parker to get the flyer printed and everything. And, and that in and of itself was because was, it was two-sided and color and, 
And uh, it, we ended up having to help the girl print them and, and cut, cut them, them ourselves. And cut them ourselves and everything. But that's great. It, we got it done. We got her done. And, um, but uh, it, we put a lot of work into this because we wanted to give back to the community and we wanted to present something that people would find useful and, and, and walk away with something that was helpful for them to find free camping and boondocking. And uh, so we'd done a lot of work. But that morning, <laughs> I had to set my alarm for four o'clock because I wanted to. Jana thought I was nuts, right? Yeah. Her presentation was at 2 p.m. What time did we leave here? Uh, between 7.30 and 8. Yep. <laughs> but here's why. <laughs> She's like, we didn't want to be late. We didn't want to be late. <laughs> It wasn't just that. So the the reason is is um, they have they had a parking lot that was for volunteers and presenters. Because of the rain, they were doubling up on activities that day, and so I knew that that parking lot was going to get pretty full pretty quickly. And we both have pretty big rigs. I don't know what didn't know what the other presenters might be driving. Didn't know what the other volunteers might be driving. Um, but I knew we needed to get there while we could still maneuver in that small parking lot. That was a big concern of mine. And park where it was convenient for us to get in and out with the dogs. So we take off. It's barely dawn. <laughs> Light outside. <laughs> and Janet's just like... And at first I had agreed to go to... McDonald's, <laughs> one of our favorite apps, um, for breakfast. But um, I just felt like we needed to get there. And I'm like, do you mind? I'll cook you breakfast when we get there. Can we just get there? And But I didn't. <laughs> she, she's looking at me like that because I got busy. And I'm not the one that fixed breakfast. Uh, yeah. Uh, I fixed breakfast. She fixed breakfast. Um, and uh, I did the beans. Well, that's true. I did the beans. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I got everything out. I And I provided okay, the I, plates. I just cooked and, the eggs. And I... <laughs> And I did the dishes, so it's not oh. like I didn't do anything. True. <laughs> I made us coffee because we I, I didn't even have coffee before we took off. But anyway, so <laughs> we got there, though, you guys, and we got the perfect parking spaces for, for me yeah. to be, feel comfortable for the day. To uh, My big thing is, especially with my brain injury, I have to minimize stress. I mean, that's true for everybody. Um, but for me, so that I didn't start skipping on stage, um, I took a lot of, <laughs> so just, I don't mean, don't, 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 not that, yeah, sorry, not that kind of skipping. No, that was a good catch. <laughs> on stage. <laughs> However, I did want to skip on stage. Yeah, yeah, it, it, we, there was a great band there, and we'll, we'll tell you about that, but skipping, I mean, by, by brain injury, start stuttering and skipping and things, and so I was doing everything I could to minimize stress and but it was great because we got there and there wasn't anybody on the field so we go running out to the stage and y'all probably saw the little shorts and and uh that was fun yes. we got to picture that and 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 that was another thing walk i wanted away, to a rock around yeah and... get a feel for the place be, before we went on stage and everything and we got to talk to yars the the head of sound and and go over a few things so it worked out really great and then we had breakfast that Jana cooked <laughs> Uh, what else that day? Uh, Since we were there all day. <laughs> I went and uh, saw part of the presentation oh, yeah. on the vehicle maintenance. And we could hear and, all of it from yes. our rig. It was awesome. And so I got to kind of look at the size of the audience that was already starting and yeah. um, listen to the sound and just kind of get a feel of how it's gonna be? Yeah, and we got to see some people, um, and 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 say hi to people, and and then just chill. And, and Jana at one point she was like, "I hope you don't." Is it? I'll edit this out if she doesn't want me to <laughs> share this. But um, if you see it, she was okay with it, obviously. But uh, at one point she's like, "I, I we were just kind of going over our note cards and everything." She's like. I she, couldn't. Yeah. She's yeah. like, I can't do this again. I, I just got to go walk. And she yeah. just took off. I had to get some energy out. I just started looking at my note cards. And I that's when I was getting nervous. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah. And I was like, I can't do this. So yeah. I, went, that's, I think that's when I went walking around at noon, noonish or something. 
But anyway, it was getting closer and closer, and I was getting <laughs> I was like, gonna, oh, no. Yeah, you know, we kept hearing Bobby go, next on the stage, yeah. and we were like, next is going to be us. Yeah. At 2 o'clock, we're going to hear from a couple of um, uh, longtime nomads that are going to discuss boondocking, how to find free camping. And But it was wonderful. And then our friends showed up. Um, I, we, we had people that helped us. I gave away 10 of my books, How Being a Nomad Saved My Life, and they were signed, and, and then I signed them and added 2023 RTR. Gave away 10 of those, and uh, Lori and Joan uh, helped us give those away after we were done, and then also we gave away... Um, Magnets and stickers, stickers and keychains and stuff. Yeah, and uh, the uh, people that helped us with that was um, Lo uh, not Lori. She she helped with the book giveaway. Judy and Lisa, and then Barb helped them. And Barb turned my camera off and on for us for uh, filming. Um, and Joan had saved a place for me to put the tripod. And so it was just a team effort. And you guys, after we got through with the presentation, I'll just jump forward a little bit on this. I, I, we walked off stage and, and there was a lot of people that we had said we would answer questions and be around to greet people afterwards. And we, yeah, we, we enjoyed that. Yeah, we were very happy to do that. We, we didn't get very far off stage before we had a lot of people that wanted to talk to us. And that's awesome. We got as many pictures as we could, but I didn't, I forgot to take pictures in fact oh, i went yeah. to i went to take a picture <laughs> and uh, i'm like i don't have my phone i left it out there recording uh, thankfully barb took care of turning it off for me and and took care of that like she had volunteered to do and then joan brought me uh my uh camp uh, my phone and and uh, uh took the uh, uh, tripod for me so i mean it, it was a it was a team effort but um I kind of jump, uh, jumped ahead, but, oh, our friends showed up, and we went over everything with them and kind of showed them what we had in mind and to see if that was going to work for them and where we were thinking about doing it, and we took our little table, and it, and it turns out how I had their act so together. They even had a spare table with a tent over it for us to use, but we didn't know that at the time, and so we ended up not using that, but that would have been nice, um, but, the, yeah. yeah, they just had so much. They had a a, a green room. So around, so around one o'clock, we headed to the green room. That's true. That's just like, oh, it's getting real now. <laughs> <laughs> and tell them about the green room. It's blue. It's blue. It was, <laughs> it was lovely for them to do. Yes. It was, um, it was uh, tarps over the dugout, and they even had a mirror in there and, and snacks, snacks and water. And... Yeah, and you could just sit and chill before. You're gonna go get on stage. Yeah, so. and again, get a feel for every everything yeah. that's going on. And it's my and, first green room. Yeah, it was my first green room. It was <laughs> awesomeness. I was like, thank you, Allah. I know. Yeah, and but, but oh, I'm forgetting something. Before our friends showed up, we took the dogs for a walk, and we went to the actual park because this was held at uh, Town Park in Quartzsite. We went to the actual actual park and the playground. And I, I, I can't pass up a good swing. And so I was swinging and, and um, uh, looked up and there was an old, a, a dear friend of mine that I hadn't seen in years that was there. And Dave Carlson, and I was so happy to see him. He has been, uh, we've been in touch with each other since my very first blog, 2011, when I, this dream started. And I write about that in my book, How Being a Nomad Saved My Life. And he, um, it was just so fabulous to see him. And so I got to spend some time with him before we went on stage too. But even him, even Dave, after not seeing him for so long, I forgot to get a picture. So we're in the green room, and I saw him, and I'm like, Dave, come here. I forgot <laughs> to get a picture. So we did. We got to get our picture made together. and um, so. But that was a lot of fun. So we get ready to go on stage, and we're heading up there, and I hear the, the band is setting up. So they, they um, I'm turning this fan off. They have had the, van, the band scheduled for, for 4 o'clock. But I hear somebody telling them, as soon as they get off stage, you can start playing at three. And I was just like, what the heck? And they're setting up, and, and they had hoped to get set up before we went on stage. And we, we weren't involved in any of that. That was between them yeah. and how and their scheduling and everything, and it was fine. 
but this poor band, they were stressing out. I mean, this they were so good. Man, if y'all missed that band, they, they called themselves the Nomad Band. And, and if y'all missed that band, you missed out. But um, they... They were stressed because they didn't have enough time to get set up, and they were supposed to go at three, and the schedule said four, and I'm not sure what happened on all that. But we get on stage, and Bobby is going to start introducing us, and I realized that they weren't finished setting up, and they're like, "Well, we can come back, but we're, you know, can we?" They were asking. I could hear them down here asking Yars, the sound guy, "Can we? Can we come back uh, as they're finishing up?" and I was just like, you know what? Let them stay on stage and finish setting up while we're. We don't care if they're working around yeah. us, and and uh, so that that worked out pretty good. And do you remember what you said to me about it? No. She's <laughs> like, I kind of like having more people on the stage with. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, another thing looking back is my nerves started calming down. We got up there on yeah. stage before. Um, I guess, time that we were supposed to, to put our stuff up on the table and everything. Yeah. And just staying up there and looking at people and waving at people and all that. And people coming up to say hi right. and wishing us well. It was I just think, so awesome. I think it would have been totally different if we'd have been in the green room and Bobby would have called us on stage and we would have walked up and went, Ugh. Yeah. I think that, but... Being up there and talking to people. And, and cutting up with the band. Yeah, and I was telling the band I wanted to sing with them. And hey, is this where I sing my favorite song? <laughs> I can't sing. Stuff like that was just being silly, but that relaxed me. That calmed me down. I think that's what... Um... <laughs> He's barking at a woodpecker on my hummingbird feeder. I know that that sounds like malarkey, oh, ooh, but it's true. There is a woodpecker on my hummingbird feeder. And I uh, can have, <laughs> okay, have no idea where we were. Squirrel. Only it wasn't a squirrel. It was a woodpecker, woodpecker. on a hummingbird feeder. <laughs> it's our bandit was, bandit, bandit says, I, I've got these birds, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take care of them. I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> I know. But so we enjoyed interacting and cutting up with the band. Oh, yeah, you were saying that you told them you were going to be their backup singer. Yes. Yeah, they were like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to pay you, sing. though. Yeah, I can't sing. <laughs> you can, too. And that's, she said that on the mic, and I'm like, you can, too. She not only sings, she plays the guitar, and, and she plays drums. and, and Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and so I, I was just like, yeah, she could, she could have totally joined the band. But uh, anyway, they were awesome. So we had that going on, and Bobby did such a lovely introduction, and thank you again, Bobby and Howa. And uh, then we we did our, our talk, and I felt like it went pretty I well. I did, too. Yeah. I thought it went great. Yeah. And so if you guys were there, let us know what you think in the, in the comments below. And then um, I had asked our friends that were helping us, when we start doing the Q&A, y'all can go ahead and get, start getting set up and everything. Well... As soon as they started heading toward the side of the stage, it, people left the audience and started going to the sides of the stage of stuff that they were interested in. And so it was a little bit of mayhem during the question yeah. and answer, but it, that was also fun. And people asked the best questions. Like like somebody said, okay, so if you take a lot of time getting out to your um, camp, uh, campsite or, or finding a free campsite how do if you go to town how do you get back out there if you're not used to this and you know things like that that after eight years out here and five years out here you you forget what it was like to be such a newbie and we had such great questions and so and, maybe um, it was just a, it was just a lot of fun yeah it was a lot of fun yeah. it's more fun than i thought it was gonna be yeah exactly <laughs> exactly and and uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday, we get to go to an appreciation uh, luncheon, and uh, we're just really grateful for that, too. And so I want to thank yes. Howa again. Oh, and afterwards, when our friend Leslie took us mm -hmm. to dinner. Yes. Uh, that was We such... didn't eat before, yeah, other we... than the breakfast, because <laughs> we... it was like, I don't want to get on stage and, and then be like, I have to... It's like, excuse but, me, yeah, yeah, yeah I got to take go. a break. <laughs> We didn't want to do that, so we so didn't eat or we drink much. We were hungry by we were three, so hungry. three o'clock. So yeah, and uh, we didn't get out of there till probably four or four thirty, I think, or four I maybe. I don't even know. But uh, Leslie took us to dinner, and we came back, and she's like, "Why don't you come camp with us down at the at the spot and with all our friends and hang out for the evening?" And and we decided that that sounded like a lot of fun, and so we closed the night out. 
around the campfire, around the campfire and, and um, Jenna went down and played some card games. And we just we just really had a good, it was a great day. Mm-hmm. It's fun. And you're going to go camp with friends overnight here pretty soon. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> She, I, I, a couple of conflicts that I gotta work out. Yeah, first. she was like, "Since when do I have scheduling conflicts? What the hell? I'm retired. <laughs> I'm retired. I don't have to keep a calendar. So, but it's all good though. Yes. And um, and we're having fun, and we hope that you are too. And if you were at the RTR presentation that we did, please let us know. And uh, we hope we get to see you soon, everybody. Mm-hmm.